so guys in this video today i'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to turn one thousand dollar to ten thousand dollar trading triangular arbitrage on binance over the past days i have come to realize that triangular arbitrage is way more profitable than inter exchange arbitrage so i thought i should give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to stay profitable each day trading triangular arbitrage on binance or pretty much any crypto exchange out there that has liquidity but i'm going to be referencing it specifically on the binance exchange so without further ado let's quickly hop into the technique right off the back so first thing first when dealing with triangular arbitrage opportunity there are three main things you need to keep at the back of your mind before even think of engaging in triangular arbitrage opportunity the first one is by spotting the opportunity and the second one is by making an in-depth calculation about the opportunity and the third one which is the final stage is by executing the trade rapidly so these are the three main things you need to keep at the back of your mind before even think of executing any trade at all so i'm going to be breaking everything down from the spotting of the opportunity and making an in-depth calculation about the opportunity before we can now up into the last stage which is implementing the opportunity each of these stage i'm going to be showing you as some key components in them so make sure you pay close attention so you could be able to understand and implement this technique appropriately for the full potential so let's hop into the first stage right off the back so the first stage is obviously spotting the triangular arbitrage opportunity and we pretty much do use coinmarketcap.com to spot this opportunity but recently i came across this particular one that is called coin Gigo. it is the same thing as coinmarketcap.com but i prefer using coinmarketcap.com as it is more convenient compared to coin Gigo. but if you intend to use coin Gigo, it is all subjected to you you can as well look it up yourself and look out for opportunities over there but this video is going to be specifically on coinmarketcap.com there are a few things i do keep in mind when picking any coins for the triangular arbitrage opportunity the first one is how liquidated that particular cryptocurrency is because the higher the liquidity the higher the chances that you are going to be able to execute your trade rapidly without having to be holding the coin for way too long and be exposing yourself to the volatility of the market so that's the more reason i'm going to be using the future button right here to filter out coins that has higher liquidity so we can use it to implement in the triangular arbitrage opportunity real quick so the moment you click on the future button right here you are going to off over to the add future button right here and click on it and it's going to bring up the more future button like the more future interface right here and you are going to first of all off over to the market cap and change the market cap to about 500 million to 10 billion because like i told you the higher the market cap the more liquidated that particular cryptocurrency is going to be so we are going to be aiming for an higher market cap range so our trade should be able to be triggered right off the back and thereafter after inputting that figure right there you click on apply filter right there 
and then you off over to the price section and change the price section to one to hundred dollar right there and then you click on apply filter one more time there and then you will eventually click on the show results one more time there so these are the coins i pretty much do watch out for when doing triangular arbitrage opportunity there are 30 of them here which makes it more convenient if you intend to look it up one by one so for me i'm going to pick any random one here and let me show you how we can make an in-depth calculation about it before hopping into the trade respectively but if you intend to use any one of your choice it is all subjected to you provided this strategy i'm going to be showing you in a second are met on the one you preferred so i'm going to be choosing this particular one called etc i'm going to have to click on it real quick there when clicking on it first thing first you will pretty much have to head over to the market section so we can make comparison between where we can buy low and sell high rapidly so as you can obviously see right here that the etc btc is trading at about 16.42 meanwhile on the etc usdt pair it is trading at about 16.41 so how about you buy from the usdt pair and sell on to the btc pair and retain the profits and capitalize on that so i'm going to be hopping into binance real quick and let me show you how this can be done with a real life example of it so i'm going to have to open up binance real quick there and search for the coin which is called etc trading with the usdt real quick there and first thing first we will pretty much have to be heading on to the comparison market so we can make comparison between where we can buy low and sell high rapidly so as you can obviously see right here that the etc usdt is trading at about 16.37 meanwhile on the bnb it is trading at about 16.38 and even as the etc eth is trading at about 16.4 so we are going to be buying from one currency per low and sell on to the other currency per that is trading on an higher price this method is generally referred to what we call triangular arbitrage whereby you take an advantage of the different in prices between different cryptocurrency pair of the same assets so let's head over to the first currency pair which we are going to be buying from real quick so let's say we probably want to stimulate it with about one thousand dollar so we can make comparison if it is going to be profitable or not because in arbitrage making your calculation like an in-depth calculation like i told you earlier plays a major role because that is what is going to determine if you are going to be making the profit or not so i'm going to have to copy that real quick there and head over to the second market we are going to be selling it at so the second market is obviously etc trading with the ethereum because that was the exact pair that was trading on an higher price so i'm going to have to open it up real quick there so as you can obviously see right here it is trading way higher as high as 16.4 and before we sell it off we are going to be going over to the depth so we can know where we are going to be placing our liquidity at so i'm going to be heading on to the market depth with the etc trading with the eth so we can know the exact point we are going to be placing our liquidity at because the market do respect liquidity more than any other thing so right here on the etc eth cryptocurrency pair you can obviously see right here that the eleven thousand dollar like we have eleven thousand dollar on the buy side and we have sixteen thousand dollar on the sell side 
So if I should ask you a simple question here, out of these two liquidity, which one would the market first of all respect? The market will surely respect the $16,000 because it is the much higher liquidity. This plus 2% debt means that they are about these figures right here on this particular cryptocurrency prayer queuing up on the order book saying that the market is going to go down by 2% for their order to get triggered. So they want to get into the coin but they are placing their, their buy order 2% below the current value of the asset. And you know if you are placing your order below the current value of the asset, your order is going to remain stagnant because the market hasn't gone to that point yet for your order to be triggered and there is no liquidity yet. So this set of people are saying that the market is going to go down for their order to be triggered and they have made their research. That's the more reason they are placing their order to be, you know, to be dominant on the other book, which is like creating liquidity. And for the minus 2% debt, it is a vice versa of what I just said. These people are also queuing up on the other book saying that the market is going to go up by 2% for their ETC coin to be executed because they want to sell it on an higher price because they have done their research and they found out that the market is going to go up. That's the main reason they are placing their 2% above the current value of the assets and their order is going to remain dormant until the market eventually take out the liquidity so the market do respect much higher liquidity like i said so any other liquidity that is higher than each other on the depth the market is going to first of all take out the much higher liquidity before it eventually goes in its initial direction so keep in mind these numbers can change depending on how aggressive the traders is so make sure you look it up regularly so you can get to know the exact figures at the exact points so we are obviously going to be queuing up same year on the sixteen thousand dollar because the market will surely take out the sixteen thousand dollar on the etc eth before it eventually goes in its initial direction so we are going to be making a calculation about the two percent above the current value of the assets so the current value is about 16.38. So 16.38, that will be 2% times 16.38. And that's going to give us like um, 0.32. And we are going to add that by 16.38, which is going to give us the 2% above the current value of the assets. But I do pretty much stick around way too near. I don't want to go that aggressive. In case the market surely goes in its all-time high so all you need now to do is to divide it with the current value of eth so the current value of eth like one eth is approximately 16 like 1664 so you are going to be going over here and divide that by 1664 so that will give us a selling price of the value of ETH at 0 0.010. So we are going to be placing our sell order at 0 0.010. But I wouldn't advise you to go that deep. That's the more reason I stick around like way closer before the market, you know, reaches my target. There is no an objective figure for this. It is all subjected to you. All you need now to do is to not be that aggressive. You can also stick around halfway through and then you are all good to be going. Don't really go that too aggressive. And after that, we are going to be pasting that amount of ETC we got initially. And then this amount of ETH we are going to be getting after the end of the day and that eth is worth approximately how much let us look it up after the end of the day after the trade might have got executed you are going to be selling that eth at the value of let us look it up real quick there 0.60 
zero point six zero four six zero four zero so that was about one thousand five dollar so you are making five dollar in a single trade and this can be done repeatedly over and over again but in order for you to optimize your profit you will need to have a little sum of bnb on your sports wallet so the trading fees can be deducted from it and on top of that you'll be getting enough discount of your trading fees so you could be able to optimize your profit so even if the trading fee is going to be deducted it is not going to be as much as if at all you don't have bnb on your wallet so make sure you have bnb on your sports wallet and then you off over to your profile icon at the top left corner there you click on your profile icon and then you pretty much have to switch it up to the discount to get bnb on the regular interface right here click on use bnb to get discount and then you have to toggle on this icon to get the 25 percent of your trading fee so make sure you do that to be able to accumulate the profit over time so that is how it pretty much works and if you have any further question regarding this leave your comment down below respectively i will get to reply all of it and i do give out these signals as well in my premium student group so if you are interested you probably have to sign up using the link in the description below and you'll be added on to the group in no time so i think that'll be all for now then i'll probably catch you up in my next one bye for now